It's a beautiful day to die, you know what I'm saying? You know, we're giving out free coffins, you know, so if you like a free coffin, just place your order. How you put it out? It's your boy, my money, we bet. With another video, and I just shot a I just shot a video with, about five minutes ago, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one more for tonight. You feel me? And on this one, it's called uh, "Who Is Fredo Bang?" A closer look. You feel me? It's basically telling you who Fredo is, his past, and all that. And um, yeah. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, give me, uh, turn on notifications, give me the 1K, you feel me? When I hit 1K, I think I'm probably gonna do a giveaway, but we gonna see, you feel me? So, uh, yeah, we gonna get ready to start it, let me get my remote, uh, y'all get y'all popcorn, you feel me? And we about to get it in. According to police, 19-year-old Frederick Givens got into an argument that quickly turned violent when the teen and another suspect pulled out guns and started firing. The bullets hit a nearby car with a passenger inside. When the duo tried to drive off, they ended up crashing into another car. Witnesses identified Givens, who is now charged with attempted second-degree murder. Frederick Givens II, better known to the world as Fredo Bang, is a young Baton Rouge street hustler turned rapper and became most notable for being really close friends with the late rapper The Real G Money. Ever since Lil Boosie opened the floodgates, Baton Rouge hip hop scene has gone international and the talent begun flowing through. NBA young boy, The Real G Money, and Fredo Bang were all amongst that talent and were all exceeding in popularity. In the beginning, they were all friends, musical comrades, and were all a part of the same circle, a circle of have nots trying to make a better life for themselves. And the rap game was the recipe. One in the head for a dummy. When you dummy? I pop the clock, everybody got the running. To make it famous in the industry was each of their goals. But the closer they got to fame, the crazier their lives became. G Money was first out the gate. Constant freestyles, mixtapes, and music videos had put G Money in the local limelight. And he was big dog of the city. The next big thing out of Baton Rouge. Food chains on my neck, I feel like Luke Kane. Get mad and turn the VIP into a suit. Meanwhile, NBA Youngboy has set forth his rap career and through an aggressive online hustle, he was also becoming notable for being Baton Rouge's top new coming rapper. Oh, While the real G Money and NBA Youngboy was rising as promising industry artists, Fredo Bang was working on a different type of record, the kind with jail time attached to it. Since I get that pack in, it's going for the low, for the lows on my ass, cause they think I'm selling coke. On November 18th, 2016, the 19 year old Fredo Bang got into an argument that escalated into a fight that ended in serious gunplay. Police said during the fight, Fredo and another suspect pulled out pistols and fired several shots at another man, striking a car with another victim inside, but no one was hit. While fleeing the scene, Fredo How crashed into another car hit? before escaping. He was later caught by police after being identified out of a photogenic lineup by witnesses. He was arrested and charged with attempt second degree murder, illegal use of a weapon, and two counts of aggravated criminal damage to property. He was booked at the East Baton Rouge Parish Prison, where his bail was set at $70,000. He made bail and was back on the street while awaiting trial, and in no time he was back in the presence of the police. After pulling him over and searching his car, police found a stolen gun that was attached to five other shootings. Fredo was arrested and charged with the gun, and this time the judge put a hold on him, so he would have to stay in jail until his trial. On my ass, cause they think I'm selling coke. While Fredo Bang sat in jail awaiting his trial, things in the streets were getting nasty between former friends turned enemies, the real G Money and NBA Youngboy. Uh, fuck you, nigga. I'm about beef. What, what the real, bitch? What you got some against me, bitch ass nigga? Say that damn man, I'm don't, don't...
I'm gonna be on Instagram with that pussy ass shit. Your sister's trying to mess so I never kissed her, but I fuck with her so I never missed her. They had sex with my sister, being through it in my face in front of people on Insta. Two Baton Rouge natives cut from the same cloth, and close friends at one point turned on each other and began airing each other out. The tongue wrestling between the two continued until... 22-year-old Garrett Burton, better known as The Real G Money was found dead in a parking lot around 1.30 this morning. Police say there are no motives or suspects at this time. Anyone with information should give police a call. Now his family is calling for the violence in Baton Rouge to come to an end. In the meantime, while all of this has come to pass, Fredo Bang was still in jail awaiting trial for the second degree murder attempt, which stemmed from the November car shooting. Fredo knew about the beef between his two partners before G Money's death, but could do little about it. He received the news while in jail and broke down where he stood. His best friend says the fourth grade was allegedly taken out by another neighborhood friend, and that's a lot to process, especially while being in prison. The real G Money and Fredo Bang were much closer than NBA Youngboy was to either of them. G Money and Fredo met at 10 years old, and they stuck together in the streets and in music, and both became a part of the same record label called Top Boy Gorilla or TBG. Long story short, G Money and Fredo were like brothers. With G Money out the picture and Fredo Bang locked up, NBA Youngboy became bad. And Ruage's number one movement. All the niggas I was kicking with was talking about this new young boy that was coming out. I didn't really know that your name was young boy. They just kept saying, that young boy, dog, you got to hear him. Like, he really talking that talk. Like, and I know he really about everything he said. I can tell by the way he said it. How does that feel to know that city to city you got all these people that got your back and that's fucking with you? Shit, it's a blessing. You know what I work for? Yeah. And I work for to be noticed, for to be important, for somebody to book me. So shit, I'm happy. <laughs> Young boy's success was solid and his impression on the game was official. He's now a major figure in the industry and made it up the ladder to becoming a household name across the world. Meanwhile, after having the more serious charges reduced to lesser charges and serving two and a half years, Fred O'Bang was released from prison. You know what I'm saying? Back to my old ways and I'm fresh out of jail. Wasting no time, he confronted NBA Youngboy about the death of G Money. We dumping, 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 dumping clips. Yeah, you know in, the name, in the name of G, bitch. In the name of G, understand me? Yeah. You hear me? You ain't talking about money, I don't make no sense to speak, so what you talking about? Yeah, bitch. Pull yeah. up meet me at Krispy Kreme. Mourning the loss of his friend, taking on a full-time beef, and maintaining his career makes Fredo a busy man, but not too busy to salute his brother. He dropped a single dedicated to G-Money titled Father. My dog gone, now I'm living for his daughters. I know you would be right here if I wouldn't have caught them charges. And we out. Well, that was it. So, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, turn on notifications, and um, I'll put the original video in the description, you feel me? Mm. Until next time, you know. Dropping hits and kill, just like the bang man. Bam. It's a beautiful day to die, you know what I'm saying? You know? We're giving out free coffins, you know, so if you like a free coffin, just place your order. How you put an application, now you got